Let me teach you how to make a Forge modded server for Minecraft 1.21. The server that we're about to create for Forge 1.21, it's a locally hosted server. What that means is that this server is going to be in your own computer. And in order for you to use this server, you're going to have to turn on your computer, open the server and keep it on while you're using the server or while your friends want to join. You have to keep the server. Also, you're going to need to pour forward your IP address for your friends to join. And as you might know, your IP address contains a lot of information about your location and your internet connection. So you don't want to be giving out your IP address to strangers. Now, if you're looking for a server that is open 24 seven, so your friends could join at any moment without you having to turn on your computer and you don't have to use your own IP address, then Apex Hosting is the perfect service for you. With Apex Hosting, you could create a Java server using Forge, so you could create a modded server. You could also add mod packs if you want, just a one-click installation mod pack, and you could do all of that in less than five minutes for 25% off if you use the first link in the description. Something I personally love about Apex Hosting, besides them having locations all around the world so you could connect from anywhere and have a good connection, is that you could create the server and access the server console through your phone. So no matter where you are, you could be away from your house, you could be at Walmart and still control your server and change any settings that you want to through your phone. Again, create a Forge server using the first link in the description for 25% off. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, if you determine that you want to create a Forge server, go ahead and click on the second link in the description and scroll down to step one and click download Forge here. That'll bring you over here where you're going to select 1.21 and then go ahead and click on installer. That'll bring you over here where after five seconds, a button labeled as a skip will appear on the top right. Make sure five seconds has passed, okay? Don't click anything else. Just click a skip right here on the top right and that'll begin the download immediately for Forge, the installer for Forge. And using the Forge installer, we're actually gonna go ahead and create our Forge server and our Forge instance in our own computer. The first step that you want to make sure that you do is close Minecraft as well as the Minecraft launcher. And before you do that, make sure that you have played Minecraft 1.21 at least once in your computer. Just regular vanilla Minecraft to create an instance for Forge. Now, once you did that, go ahead and create a folder here on your desktop. I'm going to create a new folder and you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name mine server 1.21. This is just a folder that we're going to use to create our server. So now the first step is going to be to install Forge as a client. Forge for yourself. You're going to need to install Forge if you want to join a Forge server and your friends are also going to need to install Forge if they want to join your Forge server. So to do that, just go ahead and right click on the Forge installer, click open with and select Java. That is going to open the installer in here. And if you don't get to open this installer because you don't see Java in there, give me a second. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. Anyways, those of you that were able to open the Forge installer, select install client and click OK. And while Forge is installing, if you weren't able to open it, make sure that you have Java 21 installed in your computer. This Java right here, I'm not talking about Minecraft Java. I'm talking about Java as the programming language that will allow you to open the Forge installer. You need Java 21. The thing is that after the Minecraft update 1.20.5, you're going to need Java 21 to open the Forge installer and to open any jar files in your computer. So just check that link in the description to download and install Java, and then you'll be able to open the Forge installer. You might have to get rid of your older Javas by going to add a remote program. But once you do that, you're going to be able to open the Forge installer. Anyways, once you install Forge in here, go ahead and click on OK. And now we have Forge installing our computer, but we don't have a server yet. So to have the server, what you're going to do is double click on the Forge installer or right click and click open with again and select Java. And in here, instead of installing client this time, we're going to select install server. And down here in this line that it's all red right here, you're going to click on these three dots. And that is going to open this over here where you're going to find this folder in here. So head over to your desktop if you have that folder in there and select server 1.20.1, click open. And now we're going to go ahead and click on OK. And the extraction and installing part of the video for the server will begin. If you open this folder in here, you will see that a lot of content is being added into this folder as we're speaking as the Forge server is being created. Let's go ahead and wait for this to finish in here. OK, guys, and after the extraction completed, you're going to see this sign in here. Go ahead and click OK. And now we could even delete the Forge installer. We don't need it anymore. Now let's go ahead and open this folder and concentrate in here. OK, so what you're going to do now is that you're going to see this run.bat file in here. All you have to do now is double click on that run.bat file to start extracting more files into this folder. So go ahead and wait for this to reach this point where it says press any key to continue. And we're going to press whatever. I'm going to press enter and it's going to close down. Now you're going to see this ula.txt file here in this folder. So go ahead and open that ula.txt file. It's just a text document. And what you're going to do is change this line here that says ula equal false to ula equal false true so simply change the ula equal false to ula equal true and with that done go ahead and click on file click save and close this document in here and now we're gonna go ahead and double click on the run.bat file once again to run the server let's go ahead and double click on that and wait for the server to start loading this is actually going to create your server completely and it's also going to open the server app so anybody could already join your server as long as they're under the same internet as you okay 
this server that we just created in here is just a locally hosted server. And so far, the only people that are going to be able to log in it's yourself. In a second, we're going to do something so people under your same internet connection are also able to join. And then I'm going to show you what you have to do so people that are away from your house could join. People like your friends from all over the world. Anyways, once the server completely open, let's go ahead and stop it by typing a stop into the console in here. And wherever you type it, just go ahead and press enter and it will close the server as you can see in there. And then you could close out from here. So now we have a force server. This is actually a force server and we have the mods folder in here where we could add our mods. Remember, whatever mods you add into the server folder your friends and yourself also gotta have in your mods folder in your computer whenever you're using force to join your server now the next step is to turn the server into a server that could be joined by the people in your network to do that you're gonna find a file called server properties which is this file right here you're gonna right click on server properties and you're going to click open with and you're gonna open it with your notepad and as you can see this is the server properties once it opens you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna find server ip you're looking specifically for this line called server ip equal which is this line right here and in there you're going to add your local IP before address. How do you find your local IP before address? Super simple. Head over to search down here and type in CMD command prompt. Go ahead and open your command prompt app. Now in here in command prompt, we're going to go ahead and type IP config just like that. Go ahead and type IP config and then hit enter. And that is going to give you a lot of information from here. Just go ahead and select the one that says IP before address, this line right here, and then go ahead and copy that line, select the numbers, just the numbers, and hit Control C and close out from command prompt and head back into here, into the server that properties and in the server IP, go ahead and paste that IP before address. Now, this IP before address is the address that you're going to use to join your own server. And that's also the address that your friends are going to use as long as they're under the same network as you. As long as your friend is in the same internet as you, they're going to use that address to join your server. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a second through Minecraft. So go ahead and select that number and copy it again. Make sure that you have it selected to then join your server. Now you could close out from here from the server properties. You could also use the server properties to change anything else that you want from your server in here. There's also other options you could customize. Go ahead and close out from the server properties. Now, before we go ahead and launch the server again, I do want to let you know that if you want to change the RAM of your server, just double click on user JVM, this text document right here. Go ahead and open it up. And right here at the end, you're going to see the RAM amount. All you have to do if you want to add that RAM to your server is delete this hashtag in front of it. And then in here, just type whatever amount of RAM you want to give your server like the max amount of RAM. So right now it has four gigs. You could change it to eight, for example. It all depends on how much RAM you have on your computer. And once you like the amount of RAM that you're giving your server, just hit file, hit save and close it. So that's how you're going to change the RAM amount of your server if that's something that you're interested in doing. Anyways, once you did that, go ahead and close from this document. That's totally optional. Not everybody has to do it. And now let's go ahead and try and join our server to test it out. All you have to do is run the server by clicking on run.bat twice and opening the server app. And once the server has loaded, go ahead and open your Minecraft game. All right. So now that the game open and we have the server here by side by side as you can see i put a side by side comparison what you're gonna do to join your server first of all make sure you open the forge game right so as you can see this is minecraft forge 1.21 it's a forge beta right here it's forged down here so we know we're in forge what you're gonna do is head over to multiplayer and you're gonna hit where it says add server or direct connection it all depends if you do add server your server will save right here so you could connect if you hit direct connection you're just gonna directly connect to your server and another way that you could connect is using the land world that appears right here because the game sometimes will detect it at automatically this is not going to work all the time so i do recommend that you add the server so all you have to do is click add server and in the server address go ahead and paste that ip before address that we copied earlier and in the server name name this whatever you want it's like for example apex housing this is the name that you're going to use to remember your server and you're going to hit done and that's the way you're going to join your forged server that is also the way that anybody under your local network is going to join your server and as you can see if i hit join as long as i have the same mods in my mods folder and on the server mods folder i'm going to be able to join the server as you can see right here on the console so it says it's Cuba join the game. So as you can see, I just joined, right? If you're wondering what texture pack I'm using, this is the bare bones texture pack. I did just make a video on how to install this texture pack. So I'll go ahead and watch it if that's something you're interested in doing. And anybody on their own local network is also going to be able to join our server. So what we have to do to have our friends join from somewhere else in the world is port forward our IP address. Now port forwarding is a little bit more complicated and that is why I put it into a separate video that should be coming up on the screen right now because I didn't want to make this video extra long. So if you want to have your friends join you, just go ahead and watch that video. You're going to have your friends join at no time. The reason I did a different video is because port forwarding is going to be different for everybody. It all depends on your internet connection and your router and stuff like that. So go ahead and watch that video next if you want to have your friends join when port forwarding. And also, if you want to skip all of that, just use the first link in the description to create a server that is open 24-7 with Apex hosting. Bye bye.